My name is Luzia. Today we'll have Vusi Tabete. He's from South Africa, Soweto, and he's now living in Ireland. He's a founder of Shining Light Galway. And we're going to talk about not only his experience while he was living in Soweto, but we're also going to find out the experience of people living in uh, direct provision centers. So <laughs> what is the vision? What's the main vision of Shining Light? The main vision really is to, uh, I can probably say how we started off was basically just to make a, a difference. Uh, what we noticed as we started doing things was that there was such a big gap in uh, support, uh, support especially for migrants, um, Africans and uh, um, vulnerable people really in our society. Uh, what you'll find is you'll get a lot of uh, homeless services, you know, it's very good. Um, you get so many different organizations, but we couldn't uh, identify one really an African organization um, or a migrant organization set up by migrants. Mm -hmm. um, hence why now we kind of started directing our services towards uh, the, the, the vulnerable people of direct provision. Direct provision. Yeah. So um, when people um, hear about direct provision, they immediately assume government look after themselves, look after them. So what do you mean supporting people in direct provision? Well, it's until you actually um, say go on the ground and speak to these people um, in direct provision or perhaps visit one or a few other direct provision centers, um, then you may perhaps possibly get a different idea uh, on exactly how um, the people in there live. Uh, direct provision isn't a very easy place to live in. Um, the adults get 36 euro per week. This issue has been going on for far too long. Okay. Everybody knows the situation that's happening in direct provision. We've been on the news. Um, we stood up before, we've spoken so many times about this situation and it's so strange to know that, you know, as Irish, we want the whole world to see us as happy people, as fun people, you know, we want people to come in and enjoy and enjoy our pubs, enjoy our churches, enjoy our grounds and everything, but at the same time, these people in direct provision they're being excluded of that. I've been excluded and no heard of. Nobody's speaking on their behalf. They're suffering and they're suffering in silence. Wow. wow. And in terms of um, of um, of shining light to do something in for mental health, like right. to help um, the people, you know, people right. that are living in direct provision. Right. What the shining light you know, at the moment? Doing? Yes, that's a big big issue. That's one of my top priorities. Uh, but as you know yourself, we um, have an issue in Ireland uh, for our mental health support. Um, so it's a bit difficult now to um, try and get specific support uh, for the people living in there. Uh, like, but like I said, it is one of my top priorities. Now also, you have to bear in mind that Shining Light isn't generating any revenue at all. Um, We've been working for the past year and a half on our own pockets, um, you know, with the picking up of food, delivering things, donations, you know, and uh, asking the wider population to help out, you know. So we've been doing every single thing without any uh, revenue at all. Um, so because of that, it's a bit difficult now to try and perhaps get in contact with the agency. Or, or an organization that deals with mental health to see if we can help the guys. Okay, so any special guests that you might had, you know, while playing the soccer? We did actually, yes. Uh, we had a, a very, very uh, special group uh, of people and uh, it was basically our local um, Ankara Shokana. Mm -hmm. uh, they basically came and uh, uh, they asked us for a game. Uh, which was brilliant. So uh, the first thing the guys thought was, oh, yeah, we're playing the guards. Yeah, <laughs> we're playing the guards, man, we're gonna go. So yeah, I let them obviously say those things. And then um, after a while, I just had to explain to them, look, um, this game isn't the Gadi versus the migrants or the migrants versus the Gadi. So